Keep big crowds expected at Auditorium Shores tonight as the free concert series kicks off. Right, but will Austin police be more prepared than last year? KXN's Aaron Cargiles live at the park to explain how officers will try and keep that crowd under control, Aaron. Yeah, good afternoon, Robert and Sally. Lots of plans for Austin police, but first let's talk about the action going on out here. Final preps are underway. Let me step out of the way. You can see the stage right now, folks. They're testing the sound system, working on the stage lights. We've also seen food and refreshments and merchandise being hauled in today for the thousands expected tonight. Now, there's a great lineup of performers that start around 6 o'clock, including a British artist named M. Ward, who was supposed to open for Adele before she canceled her tour. Then the Shins are headlining and taking the stage at 8 o'clock. Now, last year, Austin police caught some heat after the crowd got a bit out of control. It was captured on fans' cell phone cameras. They disregarded barricades, and police admitted they weren't as prepared as they should have been when the park reached capacity. A few days later, partiers hurled beer bottles at officers on horseback during a party at the beauty bar. This year, the police department is putting double the number of officers on duty. 400 instead of 200, and they'll be working 12-hour shifts around the clock. Now, in years past, police would rely heavily on downtown patrol and support them with off-duty officers. On average, maybe a quarter of the department will be addressing uh, on duty and available to address any kind of issues. Now I've got to call in with concert organizers to find out what the capacity is tonight and at what point they may have to turn people away. The music starts at 5.45. We're live in South Austin, Aaron Cargile, KXAN News. Okay, Aaron, thank you. Remember, street closures happening all over downtown Austin right now. The biggest portion in the 6th Street area there marked in red. It will be shut down today through Sunday, except for a few time periods during the morning rush hour, Thursday and Friday.